Speaking of words and knowledge, the 2016 Faith Challenge continues, and this month we are moving to the quality of knowledge. Hosea 4.6 says, My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Because you have ignored the law of your God, I also will ignore your children. There's just some pretty harsh words there, but God is telling us that we are to get knowledge and we are to seek godly knowledge. So as we focus into knowledge this week, as we're going to be, or this month actually, we're going to be taking a look at that. You know, there's a lot of knowledge from all kinds of places. Not all of it is good. Well, you know, the MacArthur Study Bible, when talking about knowledge, points out that Christianity isn't based on mysticism. It's based on rational, revealed, historical-based facts. And that the knowledge of those historical-based facts, those rational facts, lead to a deeper understanding of God's will for us, which leads to a deeper understanding of our own purpose. And spiritual growth all comes back from knowledge. We have all this knowledge right in front of us. It might be on your phone, on your tablet, uh, in, in the hard copy of your Bible right there. So many generations didn't have that text that they could pick up and find a situation in the Bible that applies to their lives. It was all oral. You know, the, the traditions were passed down from one family to another, but now we have it at our fingertips. You have the opportunity to access the knowledge from the Holy God. Are you taking that step? Are you taking the 2016 Faith Challenge? Let us know by sending an email to faithandfriends at WTLW.com. Of course, we're focusing on 2 Peter 1, 5 through 8 this year. Last month, we focused on the topic of virtue. How was that month for you? We'd love to hear what kind of impact that had on you. This month, of course, is knowledge. Call us or write to us. Simply say, I'm taking the Faith Challenge. This is what God is teaching me. That way we can pray together throughout the year. 